in this video i want to prove the section formula which is which is used in coordinate geometry a very useful formula and also talk about the formula to find the midpoint okay so let me <coughs> draw a cartesian plane so this is your y axis and this is your x axis this is your y x axis so this is your x-axis and this is your y-axis. So let me, let me take a line segment, an arbitrary line segment. Okay, so this was line segment. Okay. Uh, make this a bit smaller. Okay. So yeah, let us call this point A. And the coordinate of this point is x1, y1. x1, y1. And the coordinate of this point B is x2, y2 x2 comma y2 and there is an arbitrary point say p here which has the coordinate x comma y and let's say that this point divide this line segment in the ratio of m is to n the distance from a to p is m and the distance from p to b is n so we want to find how can the section formula, if you use a six section formula, we can find the coordinate of x and y. So let me write the formula. The formula says x, which is a coordinate which divides this line segment into a ratio or in, in parts of a, m to n. x is m times x2, m x2 plus n x1 over m plus n. This is an internal uh, division. This point is internally dividing this line segment AB in the ratio of m is to n. It's very simple to remember m times x2 plus n times x1 divided by m plus 1 and y is equal to m times y2 same logic m times y2 plus n times y1 over m plus one, m plus n. So we're going to prove this. Okay, so now to prove this, so let me drop, let me drop a perpendicular from, say this is, let me drop a normal to the x-axis. Okay, and let me draw a right angle triangle. Okay, so what's happening here? Yeah. Here, yeah, what we're saying is, say this is uh, this is A, so let me call this a right angle. This is M, and so this is N. This is N. So the coordinate, this is X1, Y1. So this is X1, this is X, and this is X2. So the distance of AM this distance is x minus x1 from the, this is the origin o so the distance from o to m or so this the this the distance from a to m would be x that that's the distance from year to year minus x1 and the distance from p to n would be x2 minus x distance from so the distance from here this point to this point is x2 and the distance from year to year is x so the distance from year to year would be x2 minus x okay so now what else can we see okay yeah uh, i hope you can see by just eyeballing this angle this angle is equal to this angle because uh, you can also use uh, the slope or directly by eyeballing or also uh, these two are parallel lines and these are the transversal so they are corresponding angles so this both of them are right angle these two are right angles let me use the brown color as I use for right angle so this is right angle okay this angle is equal to this angle and I can say this angle 
this angle is equal to this angle. So these two triangles are similar by symmetry or by uh, you, uh, if all the angles of one triangle is equal to the angles of the other triangle, this triangle, so I can say this triangle AMP, so I can say triangle AMP is similar, this is a notation for similar, uh, is similar to triangle P and B. P and B. Now if two, if two triangles are similar, the sides are proportional. So this, so let me color code this side is proportional to this side. This side is proportional to this side and let me use this color. Okay, so this side, this side is equal to this side. But not equal, they're proportional. So using proportion, uh, if two triangles are similar, the sides are proportional. So I can say x minus x1 over x2 minus x is equal to x minus x1 has the side of m. So this is equal to m over m. So this side is proportional to this side. Now cross multiplying, I can say nx minus nx1 is equal to mx2 minus mx. Now bringing the x's together, I can say nx plus mx is equal to mx2 plus nx1. Factoring out x, if you factor out x, you have m plus n is equal to mx2 plus nx1. So making x the subject, x would be mx2 plus nx1 over m plus n. Okay, similarly we can prove the y is equal to my2. So let us do that fast. The same logic. So here, if you talk about this side, this side is proportional to this side. So how much is this? So this, this is, this is y1 on the y-axis. This is, say, this is your y, and this is your y2. So the distance from year to year is y minus, this is y minus y1. And this would be, the distance from year to year is y2. And the distance from year to year is y. So this would be y2 minus y. y2 minus y. So let me do it here. So same logic. These two sides are proportional. So I can say y minus y1 over y2 minus y, y2 minus y is equal to m over n. Cross multiplying, ny minus ny1 is equal to my2 minus my2 minus my. Okay, bringing the y's together, so it is ny plus my is equal to my2 plus ny1. Okay, so now what can we do? We can factor out y. So if you factor out y, you have m plus n is equal to my2 plus ny1. So making y the subject, y is equal to my2 plus ny1 over m plus y. I will come m, m plus n. So this is the coordinate of, this is how you find the coordinate which divides a line segment in two parts. So let's take an example to illustrate, uh, to understand this uh, section formula. So I have rubbed uh, what I did previously. So I've taken this example. So this is your x and y axis. 
and you've got point A, 1, 2, and you've got point B, which is 6, 8. And there's a point P, X, Y, which is cutting this, or you can say AP is to PB. So what this diagram is telling me is AP is to PB. AP is to PB is 3 is to 2. Ratio is 3 is to 2. And you want to find the coordinate of that point, which divides this line segment in the ratio of 3 is to 2. So let's use this formula. So this is your M. So say so this is your M, this is your M, and this is your N. This is your X1, this is your Y1, and this is your X2, and this is your Y2. I want to do first using the formula. If you know the formula, it is good, but in, at times you may forget the formula. You can do without the formula. So, so this is your Y2. This is your y2. So first let's use the formula. So your x is equal to m x2. m times x2. So 3 times 6 is 18. Plus n times x1. Which is 2 times 1. Which is 2. Over m plus n. Which is 3 plus 4. So 3 plus 2. 5. So this is 20 over 5 which is 4. And y has the same logic, m times y2. So 3 times 8, 3 times 8 is, 3 times 8 is 24, plus 2 times 2, 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times, 3 times 8, 3 times y2, plus n times, y1, so 2 times 2 over 3 plus 2, which is 28 over 5, so which is, I'm doubling this, so which is 56 over 10, which is 5.6. Okay, so how will we do, suppose we don't remember this formula. Okay, again the same principle, you, uh, let's divide this into triangles. Suppose if you don't remember the formula, you don't need to, don't have to remember anything. You should be able to do without even knowing the section formula. But you should know how to draw this. If you know the formula, it is good. But if you don't know, that's fine. So, so this is 1, this is 1, this is x, and this is 6. So, let me delete this. So, so what can we do? So we know, what do we know? So this angle is, this is the right angle, this angle is equal to this angle, and this angle is equal to this angle. So these two triangles are similar. So the distance from, of this distance, this distance is x minus 1. And what is this distance? So the distance from year to year is 6. This is 0 origin, so 6 minus x. This is 6 minus x. So can I say x minus 1 over 6 minus x is equal to x minus 1 has the side 3, 3 over 2. Cross multiply, so this is 2x. 2x uh, minus 2 is equal to 18 minus 3x. 18 minus 3x. Okay, so can we make, so adding, so this is 2x plus 3x. That's the same thing that we got. 2x plus 3x is equal to 20. So we can say 5x is 20. So x is equal to 4. Okay, so now let's take the y's. Okay, so let me use a different color. This is this side corresponds to this side. So this, what is this side? This point, this is, this is 2, this is 2, this is y, and this point is, this point is how much? 8. So this, this distance, so let me use, 
this distance is how much? This is this much is y and this much is 2. So this is y minus 2. And how much is this? 8 minus y. 8 minus y. So using the same proportion, I can say y minus 2 corresponds to 8 minus y is equal to when you write y minus 2 you have to take the this side which is a which is this side with this triangle which is 3 over 2 the order is very important so cross multiplying 2y minus 4 is equal to 24 8 times 3 is 24 minus 3y the same thing 2y plus 3y is equal to 24 plus 4 which is 5y is equal to 28 so dividing both sides by 5 y is equal to 28 over 5 which is 56 over 10 which is y is equal to 5.6 so this point x comma y this is 4 comma 5.6. So this divide this point P divides AB in the ratio of 3 is to 4. You can use the distance formula to check the distance from A to P and the distance from P to P and check whether they are in the ratio of 3, 3 is to 2.